guys and welcome back to another video here with angel b designs if you are new welcome if you're not welcome back um so as you can see my background is a little different i'm at home today it has been one crazy week so this part of the video when i was at my office sublimating i forgot to record this part of the video so i'm doing it now and i'm at home okay but anyways what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be sublimating some christmas socks i just did a cute little simple um design here with the grinch and i am going to um link down in the description box where i got the socks where i got the inserts my paper my printer my ink all of that good stuff um but yeah, this is a really quick, really kind of easy tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and just jump right into it. But this is what we're doing today. Look how vibrant those are. These socks are so cute. And this is the Grinch from um, the Jim Carrey version Grinch. Okay, so yeah, this is what we're doing today, guys. So go ahead and stick around. Okay, guys, so we are in Canva Pro here. I'm just going to kind of quickly show you how to um, design the socks. And then we're going to go over to my heat press and we are going to sublimate them. Um, so what I did basically is um, to get my canvas, my dimensions, I basically just measured the sock side to side, top to bottom. OK, so when I measured it, the size that I got was a 3.5 wide by 13 inches long. Um, so that is what I made. Oh, excuse me that is what i made this canvas size um basically i went up here to create a design you go down to custom size and you add in your dimensions and that's how we got here okay so i'm just gonna do something kind of simple um i did find this grinch right here on um i found him on google Okay, I just kind of Googled the Grinch and I found it. It does have a background, but basically what we're going to do is um, stretch it out to, you know, how we want it to look. You want to go up to edit image and I am working within Canva Pro. Some of these features are not available in the free version, like removing the background, um, which is what I'm going to do now. Okay, so now you see the background is removed. And then I went up to elements and I just typed in Merry Christmas. And then I think I picked this one here, just the words Merry Christmas and I added it underneath. So something super simple. If you wanted to, you could change the background to, <clears throat> you know, something green to kind of match him or different, you know, you got different shades of green. You could do maybe not red because you got your Merry Christmas in red. Although you could change this color or pick a different one. Maybe you want to do one like this. Turn it white so you can see it. Okay, I'm just showing you. And then maybe if you want to like do a cute little background or something. Position it backward, duplicate, position backward, duplicate. You know, just trying to come up with cute little ideas you could do. Let me see. Um, jingle, jingle bells. Let's see what we can find. Okay, so maybe if you want to put Merry Christmas here. As I'm recording this, I've already um, pressed my socks, but now that <laughs> now I'm kind of like, well, dang, I like this better than what I did, what I actually pressed them with, but that's okay. Okay, so you could do something like that. Now, remember this bottom part here is going to be the toe area. Okay, so this very bottom part, that's the toe area. That's kind of why I'm leaving it blank right there. This very top part is going to be, you know, the part that goes around your leg like around your calf i have like the um calf they go up about mid calf the socks that i have okay so this is going up mid calf 
this is going down like maybe around the heel ankle area and then this part right here is going to be the tip of the toe on the sock so maybe leave a like a little bit of space right here um so that your design doesn't go when you put the sock on like curve underneath your toes if that makes sense hopefully okay so you could do you know just play around with the design this design is actually cuter than the one i ended up going with um, like I said, I already did press the socks, so I can't change it now. But um, what I ended up doing was just the Grinch with that first Merry Christmas, this one. This is, you know, just a cute little quick design I did. Um, but I was just kind of trying to show you the different things that you could create um, within Canva. And then you're going to go up here to download. You want to download it as a PNG. And then you're going to download download this to your computer and you're going to print it whichever you know however you print um i typically print from the silhouette business edition um so yeah i'm going to go ahead get all of that printed and then we're going to go over to the heat press and um we're going to go ahead and press it and i'm also going to show you the inserts that i have as well all right guys so i am here at my heat press this is the insert that I will be using. Um, I think it's aluminum. I'm not sure. Some kind of metal. Um, I believe I got this from Amazon. I will link it down below. And then this is the sock. It's just the white sock. The heel part is the only color, which is black. Um, and I will link these down below as well. I believe I also got these from Amazon. Okay. So all you're going to do is put the sock on the insert like that now you can do front and back um i'm not i'm just gonna do this kind of simple grinch pattern i'm sorry design that i showed you in canva i'm just cutting up my image now Okay, let me cut this down a little bit more so I can make sure I line it up. Okay, so we're just going to line it up on the sock. I'm going to do both of them at the same time, so I only have to do one press. I know I get a lot of questions on this about my heat press. Um, I got mine. I have the 15 by 15 pull out heat press from Heat Press Nation. Okay. And then here is the other one. All right. I do have it on 400 degrees. We are going to press these for 60 seconds. All right, I will be back in about a minute. All right, so that is, oh my gosh, my press is hard to pull open. That's because I'm it, the pressure was too tight, but that is my alarm going off. And I did not tape it down, but you can if you want to. Definitely your preference. Oh my gosh, these are so stinking cute. <laughs> okay this insert is kind of hot but the sock isn't all right so here they are super simple right super simple super easy you can put um uh the kids socks you can put them over the these inserts as well um, you know, they'll just be a tiny bit stretched out, but I'm sure once you take them off, they'll snap back. But this is how they look. Super vibrant. You see that color? It's so vibrant. All right, but that is all I have for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure you join my Facebook group as well. Um, Crafty Mamas with an S, no emojis or anything like that. 
that, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.